listen, sulfur breath. If you don't let Hyacinth go in and get the... Did you already say what it was? I, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I can fly in through the balcony and be back quick as a whistle. I promise. Go then, and meet us back here in the courtyard. I have a feeling it won't take long for Elian to be apprised of our arrival. Yes, yes. Off I go. Human! You dare speak that way to a queen! To a goddess! <laughs> goddess? And just how do you think I should talk to her? With my pinky up? I swear, you magical creatures are more stuck up than any human nobles I've ever met. Your majesty, are you hearing this? This... This contempt! Griffin, you truly have forgotten your origins. If a fool should spit up at the sky, does the sky answer back? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It means, you fool, that she is so far above you that you do nothing but make an ass of yourself when you try to insult her. Her Majesty the Red Dragon is beyond your petty epithets. Whatever. So how are we doing this? The way we planned? Yes. I will call them out with Apolline at my side. Did you tell anyone? Only a few trusted allies, I promise. Trusted? I swear it. We couldn't do this without them. I had to get their help to free the prisoners, as you asked. They were true to their word on that. As were you. Yes. And it will mean the greatest possible number of our colony will be saved. I pray that they follow. Fine. For your sake, I hope for the same. <sighs> Where is she? Worried about your lady love. What? N no, we're not... <laughs> uh, she's not my... <sighs> You're many things, Hunter. But subtle isn't one of them. <laughs> far as you know. What was that? Nothing. Oh, there. <sighs> Are you all right? Did they see you? No, silly. No one saw me. Did you get the... Shh, shh. We'll talk about it later. Everything's fine. <laughs> yes, oh. nothing suspicious at all. You two, as we discussed. Yeah, yeah, we're flanking them. You mean, oh, oh yes, that's right, I remember. One of us on either side of you, Caster. Me? Afraid? Oh, not of the Griffins, no. It's okay, Hi, I've got you. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I've got you too. That's the point, right, Red? We're just here as cannon fodder to shield your precious little treasure. Oh, come now, Sora, when you put it that way, it sounds as if we... That's more or less true, Lady Hyacinth. Oh. You are both here to protect my companion, are you not? Why, yes, of course. I mean, if we have to. Sora! Oh, it is our honour, Your Majesty. Caster, we are only too happy to accompany you and keep you safe, aren't we, my love? Uh, 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 Sora. <laughs> oh, I do. I believe you can take care of yourself, Caster. I've seen you do magic. You're very good. But it's not wrong to need help. Wouldn't you say so, Your Majesty? I would. Are we ready? <sighs> oh, just get it over with, Red. Storm the chicken coop or whatever. Oh, so why I never... Your Majesty, please, give them a chance. Let them go before you burn it all down. Yes, yes. Stand back, all of you. Clear a path for my tale. Elian's not going to like this, but I will. <laughs> Queen Elian, I'd like a word. And you'll find I've rearranged your landscaping. That sculpture of you was frightfully unrealistic. What's this? What are you? What have you done to my fountain, my beautiful effigy? You ruined it! And the walls! Dragon! You! I told you never to come back here! I abide by your requests only out of courtesy. I'm here to call for you to step 
down. What are you talking about, you overgrown snake? You call me proud, but you have the audacity to march up through the front gate and trespass in my home. You! You! Guards! Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Well, I hope they're all right. I didn't know you could do that. I, I didn't get a chance to draw my bow. Wow. Oh, oh, so sorry, my sweet. I promise I shall let you have the next one. You hear that, Caster? Leave some of the enemy for Sora, please. Yes. <laughs> you don't even do your own dirty work, dragon. You have your little friends to do it for you. Oh, and look. The traitorous snipe who changed sides. You dare show your face here, Apolline. I promise, my queen. I want nothing more than for our people to live as we were meant to. Peacefully, humbly, in the cliffs. In squalor, you mean, in the shadow and shade of the mountains, down in the dirt and the rocks like the rest of these creatures who walk the earth and even live under it. Apolline, poor thing, you are so naive. <sighs> Look at my wings. Look at our wings. Our fur shines with the very gold of the sun. We were meant to reflect its rays, to fly ever close to it. My queen, I fear you have forgotten. The sun can also kill. It can burn. The sun is our destiny. I do not fear its heat. But you ought to fear mine. Elian, abdicate. Return to the old ways. I will never. You will, or you'll die trying to protect something that should have never existed in the first place. Apolline told me where the gold came from. You managed to hide this from the council. You're lucky I'm the only dragon here at your doorstep. As it stands, I shall let you and your whole colony live. But I will destroy this place. I always knew there was something about it that wasn't right. How many of us did you kill to take all of this gold? <laughs> Here we go. Creatures pointing fingers at each other, or claws, I guess. I uh, killed no one. Those treasuries were there for the taking. I had to send more than a few messengers to gather gold from under a dragon's rotting corpse. But it was worth it. Look at what I have built. I stand on my mother's shoulders, on my golden balcony. And with or without your help, dragon, I will make this palace fly. How, my queen? The humans are gone. The magic potential that we were harvesting from them... It's gone. The walls are crumbling around you even as we speak. They're weakening. This palace cannot stand. You must leave. Please. Queen Eliane, before it is too late. I will not leave. Even if you take all of my guards, all of my magic, I will not give up. We will fly our home up to the sky. No, 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 my beautiful garden, my tapestries, everything. I'm no. not finished. It all has to go. Elian, fly down here and join us. Time is running out. Griffins, it is time. Make your choice. Die with your queen. Or come out and live as we were meant to. Now. What is this? Rebellion. Mutiny. Treachery. Apolline, how could you? It was the only way. Now, Elian, come down from there. Treasure, take your friends and go. Apolline, you have them. Yes, human, come with me. Elian, please. Oh, now she's gone and walked right into it. Oh. Uh, I wish I could take you with me. No, you get out of here. Make sure the caster is safe. I'll take the next one. Sora, no, you can't. The palace is burning. Please.
Please come with us. It's time to go. Please, just... I... Trust me. Caster, what are you doing? Human, it, it's time to go. Get on my back. I'm just staying behind because... A a absolutely not. You're a terrible liar, Hunter. Treasure, you're right. Oh, Sora, were you waiting for an opening? For me to be so engrossed in this task that you could get the drop on me. It's so preposterous, it's almost charming how poorly you plan to kill me. <laughs> Would everyone just shut up? I'm staying as a lookout to pick off any other guards who might still be loyal. It's not a terrible plan, but rather unnecessary. I can handle it from here. All of you. Go with Apolline. I shall meet you soon. I'm staying. Fine. Treasure. Be safe. Apolline, you look... Of course, your majesty. Good. Sora, be careful. I'm headed up to the watchtower. Fine. But don't think for one minute I've... Oh, here she comes. Dragon, how dare you? You've aided a traitor. You've set my house on fire. And now you have to die. I'll peck your eyes out with my own beak. I'll kill you myself. It looks as if you're going to have to. All of your people are gone. It's just you, Elian. Come, you can't stay here. I will. I will. But first, I have a surprise for you. I wasn't all out of magic. Not yet. You and the traitor took my pilgrims away, but I managed to store up just enough to blow up the wall. A small sacrifice considering the rest of my palace is in ruins thanks to you. You're very powerful, dragon, but not so smug now that you're covered in a pile of stars. Hmm? I wonder, your little hunter friend. <laughs> oh, my mistake. You are not friends, are you? But it does seem as though she has a clean shot, even through the debris. They say the dragon hunters use bolts made of wolfram, strong enough to pierce a dragon's skull. Poor Queen Ruby, when the dust clears, the sun will shine on me, and you will be here, impaled and buried. What would you like me to tell your little human trésor? I will look after them for you. <laughs> what do you say to that? <laughs> Leave now. I will not stop until every wall of this monstrosity crumbles. Fly away. Uh, no. This is my home, my palace, my life's work. You will not take it from me. I can, and I will. No, Hunter, no, it's no more. Time. I'll Get put it out from the tower. Water. There's no tower left. <laughs> Magic. Oh, 
come on, I summon water. No, not all of it. My beautiful palace, my jewels, my statues, my gold. Well, what? Are you seriously going to leave without me? Nothing of the sort. Jump up and climb up my tail. Or can't you manage? <sighs> really? This is the best you could do? <coughs> yes. I tend not to hover for long when I've set an entire structure on fire. <coughs> so sensitive to smoke. Are you sure you're a dragon hunter? <laughs> <coughs> Shut up and fly. Shame about Elian. I wasn't hopeful that we'd convince her, but... <sighs> One less beast left to capture humans. I'd say it's a day well spent. Fair enough. There you are. Uh. Oh, Sora. Oh, you're covered in soot. What happened? Nothing a swim and some fresh air won't fix. Want to join me? For a swim? How about a bath? A nice, warm bath. With oils and lavender and rosemary, I think. Uh, um, <laughs> you mean like, like together? Um. Yes, and I can heal your wounds and make you feel all better. Wow, um, I mean... Let's go home. Um, yeah. Uh, treasure, come, come to me. me. Are you all right? I take it Apolline flew off already to rally her people. Hmm. It seems we did it. Of course I needed you, my darling. Only one life was lost today, thanks to you. You and Hyacinth kept the guards at bay. Very deft of you. Your command of magic grows stronger every day. It was thrilling to watch you in action. What's that? Uh, I was injured, but I can heal myself. Oh, I certainly... I would be only too proud and too pleased to have your healing hands touch me as you acquire a new magical skill. <laughs> Keep this up and you'll be teaching me. Hmm, treasure. We have earned our rest. I shall be glad to curl up with you by the fire. Today, and all.